That's not halal. You cannot be giving money nor be taking money. And we take it so seriously that whenever a new staff joins my day, if I'm being introduced the first time, or even when I was in the opening, uh, in my new opening in Kuching, I met the new manager, I only told him one thing. Take care of the shop, mark up you halal. That's all. Because I find that is the most important thing in your life. How can you take money and then the first thing you go into my house? You know, for that matter, I have even caught people stealing and I asked that question. But like, what's that? What's that? What's that? Eh, what's that? That's a chewy. He finds what's that? He must what's that? But chewy too, that's all. So maybe we are, are not teaching people the right thing, the right value system, you know. Uh, and people tend to say, and just uh, people have done this. Eh? They say that if you walk and you find ten ringgit, what you would do if you walk and find a hundred thousand ringgit, what you would do? Uh, you get different answers from different questions. If you find ten ringgit, the person say, I'll just keep it because it's too little amount. If you find hundred thousand ringgit, I say, I think I should find the owner because I think he has lost a lot of money. And so, corruption is something very crucial. Unfortunately, uh, our index in Malaysia has gone down. Everybody knows for what reasons. Uh, we are not here to be judgmental because we do not have enough information. We hear a lot of things. But, end of the day, we all are going to go six feet underground. We can't be taking all this money with us. You, what you live in this world, it's only your name, right? Nothing else, right? So if you are corrupted, you have nothing left.